Sweet soul, I thank you for your light and I feel its warmth. It truly is an honor and a pleasure to be able to connect with you. You've been blessed with another day and let's give thanks for that. Why? That is one word that is so powerful. Why? Stephen Hawking said, it is important for young people to keep their wonder and to keep asking why, to keep asking questions. And very interestingly, there's another quote in which it says, a million people saw the apple fall, but Newton was the only one who asked why. Keep searching for that why. You get a no ask why, you need to know <laughs> why. And nothing is wrong with that. Sometimes we are seeing the Goliaths, but we forget we are the Davids that are able to take down the Goliaths of the day. We forget that it's small acts for big tree. We forget that a tree, talking about trees, grew from a seed. We are forgetting that small acts, small questions, and that small word, three letters, yet so powerful, why, could open you up to so many new possibilities. You see, it's in asking why that even if you don't get an answer, that in itself is an answer to let you know why you must leave a situation, place, or thing. Why? You must embrace the possibilities that await you. Why? You must journey to yourself. Why? Self-knowledge is most powerful. And why? You always win. No matter the outcome, you always win. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. I love that song because it is true. So true, there's no loss. There's only winning for you. There's only a better outcome for you in everything. So keep asking why, because that is what you need to keep growing. It was my grandfather growing up as a child. He always told me, keep asking why. Never lose that. Always remember in life, the most powerful thing you can ask is why. He said, look at children. Look at how they are. Keep that granddaughter. Children are always like, Daddy, why dad? Mommy, why dad? Papa, why dad? They always keep asking why and keep asking why. It gets you so further than you would have ever thought you would have been. And sometimes it's kind of like how the bats do echoes. You know, they're in the cave and they send out these sound waves and they're able to maneuver based on what comes back to them. So your why you know if you get no answer to that question from the source you may have asked, then it's to move in a certain direction. Or even if you get an answer, either way you get clarity. Either way, you're getting an answer. It might not be what you perceive to be an answer, but each response or lack of it is an answer. So put in the comment section now, keep asking why. Keep asking why. And someone asked me, why? Why, Michelle, are you doing this? What is your why? What is your why when you wake up in the morning? What is your why? Why you're getting dressed? Why you're going to perform these duties or these tasks? What is your why? And when someone asked me my why in doing this, I said, you know something? A smile once saved me and I want to share that smile with everyone else. I've been through many lows and those many lows have taken me to many highs and have seen many lovely views from the mountain tops. And I want others to experience that view. I believe that we learn from each other and it's iron sharpening iron. That's my why. More than wanting to, I have to. That's my why. So with every task you perform today, in everything that you do, I want you to connect with your why. Ask why. With every door that is being closed, I want you to connect and ask why. Look for the possibilities. Look for the things that are open to you and fear not the no's that may come your way from asking why or asking any question. As a matter of fact, embrace it and know that you are powerful. Greater is he who is in thee than he who is of the world. And remember, you have not because you ask not. And why? Three letters, yet so powerful. Sweet soul, I thank you so very much for your light and its warmth. It's been a pleasure connecting with you. 
Zulfiliyot Sam Michel. Thank you.